Hey, how's it going there, comic book fans? It's Mr. Dark Phoenix here with episode one of The Comic Stand, my weekly comic book discussion show where I take you guys through comic book news and my opinion on certain things and previews and all that stuff. And why not start better with a good friend of mine right in the background? Say hi, Spider-Man. All right, that too. He says hi. He says what's up to everybody. But let's start with some Amazing Spider-Man news. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 3 and 4 are confirmed and have already have release dates. Amazing Spider-Man 3 will release June 10th, 2016, and Amazing Spider-Man 4 is coming out May 4th, 2018, which is good because now because how they've switched out Mary Jane, they switched her scenes out because they're making more movies, but now they're saying that they might not even add her in the movies at all. They might keep it at Gwen Stacy, so she might be recast. And there's a whole bunch of stuff going on from that, but the fact of the matter is that there's going to be two, three, two more movies. Three, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is coming out like next year, I think. Yeah, but the fact that there's more movies is really exciting because now that means that they can add more villains and they can add more storylines. Like, I know everybody's, the first thing, I'm going to get to the first thing last because that's pretty much everybody's going to be talking about waiting for. So I might as well keep you guys waiting until the end of the, end of the episode of the comic stand now. But I want to see, personally, some villains like the Vulture and Scorpion. We can't have a series without the Scorpion because that's like a Spider-Man's greatest enemy in the wildlife. So to bring it out in the movies would be really exciting and really fun. Like I said, Scorpion, Vulture, Mysterio for the fishbowl jokes and all that good stuff. Morbius because I've always liked Morbius because he's a really cool villain. And with that, they could possibly, since uh, Marvel owns, I believe, what well, Marvel owns Blade, and Wesley Snipes is out of prison, so technically they might be able to do a little collaboration with Blade and Spider-Man, like how it was in the cartoon. <sighs> Hoping, because I'd love to see Wesley Snipes as Blade. I'd love to see Morbius in a live-action movie. And let's not forget other notable Spider-Man villains like Kraven the Hunter. I'd love to see him, and I already have the perfect person in mind to play him, Sean Bean would be a really good Kraven the Hunter. Uh, for those of you who don't know, basically uh, Ned, Eddard Stark from Game of Thrones. He, he'd be a perfect Kraven the Hunter to me because he has the build for it, he has the hair, he has really like the acting for it. Who else is there? Black Cat. Definitely. I definitely want to see some Felicia Hardy, I think. I may have caught the hint that she may be coming sometime because in the Ultimate Universe, uh, her father was the one that killed Uncle Ben, like in the movie, and he was a master thief because of the way he took the money out of the register and everything in Amazing Spider-Man 1. So I'm feeling like that's going to build up to him being called the Black Cat, and then he finds that out, but then he finds that like, it's his daughter or something. like. Um, who would be a good Black Cat? Olivia Wilde comes to mind first of all. She'd be a good Black Cat, I think. Uh, Hydro Man would be good because we had Sandman in the Sam Raimi series, so I think we had Santa, and then we think we should have water in this one, because that'd be pretty awesome. And then, you know, Spider-Man can make all kinds of jokes about that. And Man-Wolf, he's a werewolf. would be a pretty, pretty cool side villain to have for all that stuff. But, you know, who do you guys think they should add? And I didn't forget about Venom or Carnage, because I know that's what everybody was waiting for. It's like, oh, why didn't you mention Venom? Well, then now I'm mentioning Venom, because he was ruined in the last franchise, and I think I had the perfect person in mind to play Eddie Brock slash Venom, uh, Tom Hardy. Yeah, I'll let you guys, I'll say Tom Hardy should be, should be Eddie Brock slash Venom, and Jim Carrey should be Carnage slash Cletus Cassidy, like we've always said, but I think, I know Tom Hardy would be a really good Eddie Brock, because he already has the build for it because of Bane. All he has to do is be like a disgruntled person that just hates Peter Parker and Spider-Man. And so I feel like one movie should be, I think the symbiote saga should be separate if they decide to go that route. Like Peter should have the symbiote suit for a whole movie. And then the last couple, in the last 10, 20 minutes of the movie, it's stripped from him and it finds Eddie Brock. And he's teased as Venom, but we don't know he's Venom yet until the next movie when, you know, it, it will just be him. And maybe another villain if they choose to pick another one. But it would be really cool if they added in that storyline because then it will be a lot slower paced than our last interaction with Venom. But who do you guys think they should add? Do you guys agree with what my villain choices are? If not, sound off in the crotch bar below here for to sound off. 
see maybe who else they should add, uh, talk to me on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Dark Phoenix at Twitter. And, you know, if you guys like this, give me a big thumbs up for the comic stand, the first episode. Uh, it's been really cool talking with you guys. This is going to be my weekly comic book show. And I can't wait to make more and have more subjects and talk to you guys more about comic book news and previews and all that stuff. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and geek out and enjoy your lives. Thank you for watching.